Hey y'all, welcome to my video on incorporating Prezi into your live conferences. So um, this can work really great for any type of conference setting, whether it is corporate or in the classroom. Because I am a teacher, I am making this uh, for teachers in mind, especially now that we're doing a lot of online and virtual learning. But know that whenever you are conferencing and you want to present information to the people you're conferencing with, Prezi Video is a wonderful tool to use. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna look at is templates. Um, you can have a template already created in Prezi. You can make a template from Prezi, create it yourself. You can also import from PowerPoint. Because I'm really focused on Prezi and I use Prezi all the time, I'm going to be looking at Prezi templates, but know that importing from PowerPoint or a template you've already created is also an option. These are some template ideas that I have used before in the past. Um, small group discussion questions so that you already have questions laid out and planned. You can just easily incorporate it into your template. It takes like maybe five minutes. And then from there, you can go ahead and record or start your video conference. Also, this works really well for reviewing frequently missed questions on assignments and assessments, going over steps for an assignment, checking in with your kids, having good morning or various weekly conferencing meetings with your students. And um, I've used this before with scavenger hunts with my students and it, it was it was really fun. They enjoyed it a lot. Okay, so assuming that your templates are already made, the next step is to download the Prezi video app. Now that is important because Prezi does have various apps out there or they do have various apps out there. This is the app you're looking for. Prezi video, it is purple and it looks like that. So you pause the video, download that app right now. Okay, cool. Hopefully the app's downloaded. The next step is to click on import from Prezi. Now notice here that the option, there is an option for PowerPoint. Um, I'm importing from Prezi, so that's the option that I am exploring. You can also do this from PowerPoint. Totally up to you if you have something that you already want to work with. You can also import PowerPoints into a Prezi. We don't need to get into that. <laughs> we're, sticking, we're sticking to the Prezi video in conferences. Okay, the third step is to, you've got your app downloaded. You've got your um, presentation imported and selected from the app. Now we're switching gears over to the conferencing side. So choose the conference method you're using. I'm going to be looking at Google Meets because we are focusing on Google Meets at my school. I have also used this on Zoom. Um, and oh, I'm going to go back here. So this is what it looks like when you select and import your template. So <laughs> backtracking. All right, so you've got your template selected, and now we're going to the method of conference. Okay, cool. So after you've imported your um, template, open up your video conference. Like I said, I'm working with Google Meets at my school. I know that this works for Zoom because that's where I've used it before in the past as well. Here are some other options. Microsoft Teams, GoToMeeting, looks like Skype, and there's other apps. And essentially any video conferencing app or tool that you use, as long as you can get to the camera option, which we'll look at in a bit, it, it Prezi Video will seamlessly connect and communicate. So the next step is setting up the conference. So you've got your conference tool, whatever it is that you're using, and you've got your Prezi Video app. Those two have to be up. Going back to the Prezi Video app, after you have imported your templates, you select Video Conference that my arrow is pointing to right here. Video Conference. Now, the next step is Prezi is going to try to connect it to whatever method of video conference that you are selecting. I've selected Google Meets. So the next step is to go to your actual um, conferencing tool and find the camera. Okay. Um, so if you're using Google Meets, which at my school we are, open up your Google Meet session, go to, so you start your meeting, open settings, right? That's the three dots on the bottom right. You open up that menu. From there, you go to settings. Cool. 
Once you have selected settings, there is an option um, for video and you are going to choose the Prezi video camera. This is what that looks like. I have selected video. You can see it's highlighted on the right. And then the drop down menu, you're looking for Prezi video virtual camera. It should be originally selected at FaceTime HD camera. Again, we are selecting Prezi video virtual camera. It's a bit of a tongue twister. And the reason for that is that is what allows your Prezi app to communicate with, again, whatever Google or whatever video conferencing tool that you are using. This is where it gets fun. It's time to conference, y'all. Okay, so this is how I have done it, and this is what has worked for me. You might have something else that works for you. I recommend that you have two tabs open. This is because when you are going through the presentation on Prezi, it has to be done through the app. Now, I always have that as one window or one tab whatever something that is open to the I just like it on the right of my computer screen that's just how my brain works um, and then on the other side I've got the window open for my Google presentation I keep saying Google presentation for my conference and this is what that looks like up close I've got my app you can see that on the right and then on the left is my um, presentation or my conference notice that this is backward on Google Meet. Your viewers are not going to see it backward. They will see it as it shows on the Prezi app. Um, I can't tell you why it works like that. I'm sure that somebody else who is more technologically advanced than I can explain that to you. I do know that it shows for your viewers correctly. Now, the reason why I like to have the two windows open is because if you look at the app, you can see the arrows to the right, the bottom right of the screen. Those are the arrows that you are pressing to control your presentation. That's it. Not a big deal. Um, and so I just like to have that somewhere on my computer so I can manipulate from the app and then also really engage and connect with my students in my conferencing session. That's what that looks like. That's my, my tip for you. All right, and the last um, things I think are worth mentioning is remember how we went to the camera option and we selected Prezi video virtual camera, whatever that tongue twister was. Once, once you are finished with your conference, go back and choose the original camera that was originally selected. Um, also, Make sure that you close any unnecessary apps during your conference time and unnecessary windows. This does take some energy on the part of your computer and it's not good. Like you don't want your computer to overheat and overwork. So I recommend closing out the windows and tabs that you don't need. Thirdly, your viewers are going to really like it. Um, again, I'm making this for students in mind. So this is a really great way to connect with your students. Um, if you're like me and you need to plan, um, planning things on a template is so wonderful because you can put in those discussion questions. You can put in the sentence stems, right? Things that you need to make sure that you hit on within the conference of your students because Let's face it, that time is extremely valuable. It allows for your students to really engage with you and the presentation. You can also import things like different pictures and images and use those as talking points. I just like the list goes on and on. I really, really love Prezi video. And I hope that this is something that you can use in your classroom and your online virtual um teaching. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you have found it helpful.